Breast MRI is wonderful, it's a great exam, but it's for certain groups of women. Um, it's not a general screening exam at this point. So the women who should have breast MRIs are women that we consider high risk and certain other groups. So women who have a very strong family history of breast cancer, particularly those who have one of the genes that we've now identified, which, which uh, gives a very, very uh, strong um, risk for breast cancer uh, in their lifetime, should have, this, uh, should have this exam. Women who have been newly diagnosed with breast cancer cancer, those are women who absolutely should have breast MRI because MRI is the best um, exam that we have in order to determine not only the extent of the disease in a woman's breast but also to evaluate the woman's other breast to make sure that there's not a breast cancer in the other breast that can't be seen on either mammography or breast ultrasound. Another group are uh, women who have silicone implants. We've been doing breast MRIs in these women for many years. This is a bilateral breast MRI on a 53-year-old woman who was recently diagnosed with uh, cancer, breast cancer, uh, left of her left breast. Um, she presented to her doctor with a palpable mass, in other words, a lump in her left breast. She had a mammogram which was unremarkable. The mammogram did not show anything. This woman who had one known cancer in her left breast on MRI was actually found to have more than one lesion. And on this particular image, you can see a second lesion in her breast, which is also significant. This is a second um, cancer. The sound that you're hearing is the sound that we always hear. This is the magnet 24-7. We give you music to listen to, and I find that you know, many of the patients want to listen to James Taylor because it's relaxing, but we can't disguise the sound of the uh, MRI during part of the, um, when we're doing certain sequences. When we do MRIs of the breast, we have to do certain images before and after we inject a contrast agent. Now contrast agents have been used in MRI for years and years for other body parts. In breast MRI, if you do not inject this contrast agent, you can't see anything. You can't identify the lesions, so it's really important. And the injection is nothing. We start an IV, uh, which is really a painless uh, process, and then we inject this contrast halfway through the MRI into, one, into the vein with the IV in order to identify lesions in the breast. Because norm Normal breast tissue does pick up some of this contrast agent, but abnormal lesions pick it up very strongly and in a certain way. So MRI is all about how lesions in the breast pick up the contrast agent that we inject.